Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Well, how are you now? Good morning, everybody. We uh, got a load of fertilizer last night, so that was good. Uh, I got about five acres left, and I ran short of canola. Dang it. So I got to do chores quick this morning and uh, head to town and get another bag of seed, I guess. So, And then we'll be done the canola. So anyway, I'll go get some chores done, and I'll bring you back. I forgot on my last video to throw this clip in for Paxton, so I'm going to put it in here now. Dang it. All right, well, I just got back home here, grabbed my truck, and here you go, Paxton. My little nephew Paxton was wondering, where's your, all your horses? Well, there, here's one. I just brought him over. This one's Flint's horse. So we're just going to let him go here. And then he can eat on some grass here today. He's old, his teeth aren't that great. So anyway, there he goes. He's gonna have some niblets. So there you go, Paxton. There's the horse. Old seven. Alright, see you later. Well there you go, Paxton. Your little video I promised ya. So anyway guys, got a bit of a low tire here this morning. Dang it. No if I Oh she's probably just old and cracked. But come on. Freaking piece of junk. Anyway. We're gonna fill that up. I might have to get a little more fertilizer, but I'm gonna seed that out and then if I need a bit more, a little splash. Uh, I'll go take out of that white tank there and then uh, Should be good. So Like I said, there's only just to the bottom of that hill right there Right there Over there to here where I'm sitting So fuck is it green out here? We gotta get that sprayer going. We can't even spray. It's been so freaking windy sickening already But anyway so I gotta go see that yet. I gotta take my brother-in-law's header trailer back too. Sorry, Chubbs. Forgot about that. Until I had a seat around it. <laughs> I gotta go move it here this morning and then I'll bring it back one of these days. So anyways, yeah, I got this. This this little area here, so I don't know what the hell is here. Five acres, maybe. Something like that. I figured I probably need about a half a bag. So I did the right thing and put a whole bag in. And, uh... So here's, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with flex coils or not, but. So, these fucking old girls are quite finicky with canola. So if you want five pounds, you gotta go to six. If you want six and a half, 6.2, what I'm supposed to be seeding at, you, sh you uh, are supposed to go to like seven. But when you do that, I was putting on like four and a half pounds, so I bumped it up and then it went straight to seven pounds. So it's just like these little wee numbers here. <clears throat> little black numbers are just a pain in the ass. So you can't really, they're a bugger to set, especially for canola. Heavier grains when you got your big meter roller in is fine, but anyway, that's all right. So this is the, this is that gearbox that Nick blew up. He's got this one here and this one here. Mine's only got two. He's probably got three because he has three tanks, but. So anyway, I guess. There's that new armor that I put on. So, like I said, when I put canola in, I gotta switch to the fine roller, meter roller. I'll show you that later when I, uh, 
when I clean the tank out when we're done I'm gonna switch back to wheat go do that 300 acres of wheat and then I got a hundred and some of uh, flax on the back quarter there I really haven't decided yet I almost want to say fuck the flax but it usually makes us money if we don't have to leave it sit out in the in the winter so anyway we'll talk to you in a bit there we go boys got her done canola is done and I probably got a half a bag left get this old girl folded up looks like I got some uh, twine on my middle shank there I gotta get that cleaned off there we go 91 acres boys that's how much canola I got left so that's nice all the guy needed was a half a bag, but whatever, that's all right. So now, I guess what we're gonna do, I think is, uh, I'll pull over by the uh, uh, tanks and we'll fill it up with some UAN. And we'll switch the roller out, I guess. And load FOSS. And then I got a tote bag of wheat that I'm going to dump back in there. It's already treated. And then I got... Um, I might have enough on my tandem yet to fill yet. So we'll see how things go. But I'm probably going to have to load that yet. Put, a, put about 400 bushel, 500 bushel on the uh, tandem. I'm going to need about 600. So I'm going to be short. So I think we're going to do... We're going to do some sort of a trial, I think, is the plan. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna try like three different, uh, three different kinds of wheat over there. Cause uh, like I said, the wife doesn't have all of the same kind, all of Eli. She's got some Eli, she's got some Redberry, and got some Brandon. So we're gonna do a little, kind of a yield trial. My brother's got a, uh, with his work there, a core egg. He has a, uh, way wagon he's able to get either that or we'll use uh, Brett Young's maybe but anyway we'll see how things go so all right I will uh, I'll go yank that roller out and I'll video it this time so okay guys sounds good we'll see you in a few okay boys sorry for the wind noise but uh, I'm gonna go like this put that up there and then my wheat setting is 32 so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this slide that down and then your mark is right at the top there see how it's sitting at like seven and a quarter or whatever the hell it's at I'm gonna go like that and we're gonna go with 32 and that gives us two bushels of the acre of uh, wheat with the coarse roller so we're gonna switch that over and we'll pump out the rest of this canola I opened up that little trap door in the front and it falls out and then I'm gonna crank the roller up to this faster and then we'll turn all what we can and the rest will just turn the fan on and blow the some bitch out of here so anyway let's get that done and uh, bring it back in a bit here so I'm gonna adjust this uh, meter box here and then give her shit so we'll see you in a few okay so now we're set for wheat and we're just gonna turn the crank here Hopefully some, uh, I'll get a little bit out of there. And as you can see, the roller's turning good, so that's nice. Now I leave the hydraulic on for my fan. And then I pull this out, turn the fan on, and it blows the rest of the canola out of there. Probably gonna get a bit of foss in there too, but that's okay. I'll well, give her a turn while the fan's going. There we go. That should have her. Okay, let's get a look here. Looky loo. See, we got a bit of foss in there, so that's all right. Now we got to uh, take the drive off. Here's what I done. My shop monitor was fucking around on me. Actually, I think it's the plug at the tractor. It's kind of a piece of shit. So I uh, painted one side white. 
see like that as it goes around. Then I can watch that roller turning at night if uh, if that sensor fucks up because it'll tell me front shaft, front shaft, and uh, tell it says says it's not turning, but it actually is. But I think I got it fixed now. It was up at the uh, uh, plug at the tractor where it plugs into the tractor, so or the sorry the monitor up front. But I think we'll be okay now. So I guess we'll uh, pull this drive box off like that we'll go like that there we go now that uh, roller is ready to come out we got to take it out the other side there so anyway I will uh, put these wrenches back actually we could probably just do this by hand so anyway, I'm gonna get the auger out of the way and we'll dump this uh, canola back into a bag. I guess we'll save it for next year. Or I'll send a text to some of my buddies if they got any use for it. And then we'll go from there. So I guess we'll see in a few then guys in a minute here. Yeah, just a quick second. This is the worst part of seeding. So there's the canola seed. Stuck it back in the bag. Now where the hell to put my wrenches now? Over here, okay, that's good. Now, I'll show you this here for a quick minute. Might need, uh, oh baby, I need you to sit on the ground here. It's nice and comfy. So, we gotta take this bolt out of here. That's for the stir up top. Then we gotta take the two wing nuts, shaft speed monitor, air hose, vent hose, and then we can pull that roller out. So, we'll get all this apart and I'll bring you back. Oh, aren't you glad it's windy again? Gladys. Gladys windy again. Okay, so that's where the roller goes in. That's up inside the tank. Fuck it, this is dumb. So, here's the roller. It's a drive roller. They call it a fine because it doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, take too much. I'll show you the quartz when I get it from the shop after, but... Anyways, and that just slides in there and goes through that other hole. Then there's grease nipples right there, and that greases the this and helps keep the air in there too. So anyway, I will. Uh, I gotta go up inside the tank. That's always real fun when you hate tight spaces. Actually, it's not too bad in there, but sometime one time the wind fucking blew and shut the lid on me. That was real shitty. Okay, so you can see a little bit of coal in there, so I'm just gonna sweep that out onto the ground and good enough. We'll see you in a few then. Okay, so here's the here's the difference in the rollers if you can tell. You see how deep that is? Look at here. So that's the difference. This one's a coarse. You can get a, I think an extra fine. And an extra course, which is even deeper yet. It's a little bit wider between. And that's for putting on like uh, dry fertilizer so you get enough pounds on. So we had that in our old Flexicoil we had. We ended up uh, getting one. and we, I think we were maxed out at 350 pounds product or 380. I can't remember. Anyway, we had the gearbox maxed right out. So, But I guess I will... Uh, Take this and clean the wheat out of here, and we'll be good to go. So, we'll go stick her back in there. Okay, so the roller now slides in here. Uh, usually lines itself up, but I might be having a little bit of trouble there. Not so bad. There we go. Now, you just line these up here, fucking push her in. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now we're gonna take the old. Oh come on! Take the old wingers here and just tighten these on like that. It's just the whole operation probably takes damn near an hour by the time you empty out and fill up and. Get everything going but I think what really helps is if you don't have to calibrate like because I said before we were already doing wheat 
and I've already calibrated and I know my number is like 32 on that slide so that's kind of handy real handy not too close old baby so all this does is reads off the magnet on here oh come on I usually use a plier for this job but I don't have it here with me so I did the right thing and grabbed the hammer works good enough really there we go okay so now I gotta put this back on this is for my uh, stir or agitator whatever you want to call it I gotta stick my hose back on here to here and after I fill it, I'm gonna grease up this uh, new roller. I'll give the back roller a grease too, and, and we should be golden, so. Anyway, that's enough of this parting around. I put my door back in, or my week will come right out. So, yeah. Okay, we'll see you in a few. There we go. Put the drive shafts back on. All I gotta do is, uh, Grease those rollers yet, but we should be good to go to load now. I put that door back in, locked her shut, and I knew where my FOSS was supposed to be before too for the wheat. Not quite as much FOSS with the uh, wheat, but fairly close. So anyway, I guess now we're gonna swing the auger around and stick it up in the old wheat hole there. It's gotta love it, eh? Just stick her in the old wheat hole. Lids open, move this shit out of the way. There we go. Now we're ready to load that tote back in, so. Anyway, I'll get all this loaded up. You guys don't need to see that, it's fucking boring as hell. Uh, might as well fill with FOSS before I go, and I'll fill my liquid tank too there, so. And then I'm good to start pretty much, other than I have to, uh, probably gotta stop at the other farm and uh, load up with wheat, so. Anyway, I will have to, uh, Feed the munchkins before that as well and then we'll head over there so all right see you in a bit i'm pretty sure my barley is sprouted here too i got got a bunch of wheat up already too so that's kind of man i kind of sound worse i shoveled my shoveled a tandem load of fucking wheat out of my bin there and i think i got the covid anyway I'm just gonna rip in here and oh, it's gonna check this barley here real quick. See if I got any up out of the ground or not. I think I seen some. Oh yeah, boys. Now, hang on, I'll go. I'll take you over there. I think. Lots coming. So this is that feed barley that we seeded. So it's got nice big, uh, nice big leaves on it. So that's gonna be freaking sweet. Should poke up good. I think I'm gonna leave it for a little while yet. And then uh, I might end up rolling this yet. Even after it's uh, out of the ground, it won't hurt fuck all anyways. If you drive, you just gotta drive the same way that you seed it folds of dirt in and if it's up out of the ground it ain't gonna hurt it anyway so should be good but anyway I'm gonna leave you here we're gonna go pick the old man up and then we're gonna go for supper and I think Karch is spraying over there and uh yeah so anyway I got all the sockets here look at this fucking check her out boys all the sockets nice all right, well, we'll see you in a few, guys. All righty there, boys. Just letting the old hair build up. And we got the wheat loaded. Dad took off with the FOSS truck. There he goes in the mirror. Here's Karch. Giving her to beat hell with the old Wilma. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, gosh, yes. can go quite uh, 13 miles an hour or whatever to what we usually spray because we're trying to push six gallons through five gallon tips. So, 
Look at her flog on the old girl. Nice. There you go, Nick. That's what you need right there, buddy. Anyway. You know that guy? He's just got fucking luck like I do, that poor old Nick. Just a joke. Oh, well, whatever. And I'll have new shit, I guess, eh? <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you in a bit when I get on the tractor. I'm gonna, I got the spray trailer over here too, so, <coughs> COVID. So I'm going to uh, uh, go wash my liquid tank off because it's, she's bunged right up. Or not bunged up, but it's so fucking dirty. Ah! He's got one tip spraying. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Fucking wild man. Well, there, boys. I guess that'll be it for another bit, yeah. So, uh, just wanted to show you. I'll switching out the old air cart and everything. Uh, we're gonna give her shit here. I got 70 acres done. Just got going here by the time we uh, got the sprayer all ready to go. Got the uh, dad loaded two tanks of liquid fertilizer on the semi. I shoveled that bin out of wheat. And what else did I do here? I'm trying to think now. And then he filled that middle tank on this sprayer truck or the fertilizer semi over there. My windows are dirty. Got about seven drops of rain last night. Anyways, um, filled it with water and then we just transferred that over onto the sprayer trailer. So that worked out pretty good. Car had enough water and now I just gotta take it home and start spraying uh, uh, the home half, I guess, where I see the canola. So anyway, guys, I guess I'll leave you here. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up, and all that good stuff. So I guess we'll uh, just keep giving her shit here. So I got about 200 acres over here and then 100 over at home. So hopefully if everything holds together on the old girl. That will be done by Tuesday, I'm hoping. We're talking maybe rain Wednesday, Thursday, maybe. So that would be nice. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if it rained. So. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one.